What's going on everybody? So I'm back on the Mazda build again today and I've been working on it for a few days. I'll show you what I've been doing. So I ended up cutting the cross support out for the uh, chassis there so I could get the long radiator in and I ended up adding an engine plate. So I'm hoping this is going to work. Uh, I'm trying to gain as much as I can room wise. As you can see it's extremely tight. So the truck, the engine's out of an uh, 2014 Chevy 1500 and it's an L83 and just like the LS is the pulley setup stick way further out on the L83 they have a little uh, air pump that sits over here for the DOD and AFM and on a Corvette though you can see this is off of a 2014 Corvette the water pump and you can see the difference in how far the pulleys stick out so uh, once I got the engine in and set in there and I saw how tight it was I went ahead and got the water pump from a 2014 Corvette. So I think that's gonna work. It does hit a little bit right here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clearance that so then this can roll down a little bit and then I'll be able to mount the water pump and really see where I'm at. Uh, also, I need to build a cross member for the um, radiator. I think I'm gonna be able to use the stock radiator mounts. There's some little rubber mounts right here. So I'm just gonna build some tabs, weld them onto the radiator and come over and tie them there. Uh, but otherwise it's coming along so i got the engine plate all mounted i used some fab tabs they're just tacked in so once i remove everything i can fully weld it and probably paint it or something all right so here's the transmission mount i built with some fab tabs on each side the round tube and then i used a tab there and welded it and as you can see right there is the uh, stock gm type transmission mount that you see on all type gm cars so i just picked that up at like o'reilly and it bolted right to the 6l80 and that's what I ended up running. So real simple uh, little deal. So pull the two bolts and it'll come right out with the transmission. So yeah, it's coming along, it's super tight. So what I do need to uh, do is <clears throat> I need to get the hood on here and mount it so that I can see how far I can raise the radiator up so then I can notch <clears throat> this out for the radiator cap, excuse me. So I'm gonna work on some of that and I will update you as I do it. Something I really debated on with this setup was going to an electric water pump. I was gonna mount it, come out with the inline and put the pump over here. But I truly want this car to be able to drive anywhere. Anybody hop in it, fire it up and go. I don't wanna have to rely on turning on an awful electric water pump or any of that. I mean, if I have to get to that point and use it, I will. But I decided to go ahead and try to get me a mechanical water pump, mount it and try to do everything I can to use it. So I went ahead and notched the battery tray. I was gonna to try to cut it out, but I really need to get the engine out. So I was able to get that rotated down enough. So the water pump is mounted. Now I'm going to work on uh, trying to see how far I can get the radiator up because I need to make a little notch here. And so I'll get the hood back on it. I'll check all that stuff, pull the intake off the engine, sort of clear, because eventually I'm gonna to have to do something with notching. The hood, I guess, uh, I'll go ahead and look at that when I get the hood mounted back on it so I can take a look. Um, but it looks like that's gonna work out okay to put the uh, alternator right here. And then I might have to mount like a little idler wheel or something right here for the tensioner and then it come over. Usually there's an AC pump here, which eventually I'd like to. So really I need to come down to the idler, maybe the AC and then over the crank again uh looking at it though if i ever want to do a cam swap or anything in the car i think i'm going to make it to where the radiator does mount off those two mounts and then make the bar that probably like supports the radiator on, on the bottom uh removable so then i can just pull it out and this would make everything real easy if i ever needed to swap like a oil pump a water pump uh the crank pulley anything a sensor uh, you just have to drain fluid, get the radiator a little weight, and then it'd make it really easy to work on the front of the motor. So it's back on it. As you can see, the hood is not in good shape. It was in a rack. It busted the grill and stuff uh, at some point in time before I had the car. But if you look, you might be able to see it. The rubber here uh, is supposed to be touching it, I believe, like this side so that it seals this off. So I pretty much need to keep the top of the radiator cap flush with this radiator support here. So. Uh, now I know, so I'll go ahead and get the hood back off and go ahead and cut me an access hole and get a radiator cap on the radiator so that I know exactly how high it needs to sit. All right, so I ended up stealing the radiator cap off of the Camaro and it seems like it's gonna work. I went ahead and did it uh, flush here. So I think that's gonna work. I'm gonna go ahead and use 
some aluminum off of the motor plate, some extra that I had, and build some fab tabs that I can uh, weld to the radiator and then come over and mount to the rubber mounts on the chassis. All right, so scratch that idea. If I end up doing that, I'd create a piece that comes over and ties to here, and I'd never get it past the frame rail on the bottom. So the radiator would never come out of the car because I can't come out of the top because of that radiator support. All right, so due to that, I decided I'm gonna actually come in and make my mounts like somewhere right in here and in here, and they'll bolt through from the outside. I put a nut on the inside, and then that's how I'll do it. Uh -huh. Do another one here and here, maybe a little bit of a rubber washer just to help it float. And then the spacers that I made here get welded to the radiator right on the inside there. So I'll go ahead and do that. They're just small enough. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit more the radiator can still slide out the bottom if I wanted to. So the, uh, the mounts will actually be hidden inside instead of trying to use those factory mounts here and making a big mount that comes over and ties to it. So the new mount will be actually down inside up there if you guys can see it. So I'll go ahead and get the radiator out and get these welded up. All right, so I ended up making some tabs here, mounting them to the radiator, and I ended up welding it solid on the front side as well as the back side and then I came in with a grinder and ground out so that I can still get the bolt in there uh, but it'll fill the gap and just kind of makes it like a one piece so uh, plenty of welding the back side and then I'm going to try to turn it up a little bit and then I'll get it mounted I'm thinking I might try to put a little piece of rubber in here so then it doesn't sit there and rub against the uh, radiator support get it mounted get some bolts in it and move on to the next thing Something I've been looking at is the way that this uh, points down. I need to turn this and point it up. So I either need to put a 90 on here and wrap it right up so it can come up across here. Or I'm thinking, I've been looking at some 90s that they make. Uh, I might be able to cut this, rotate it, and then make it into a 90. So I might look at that and see if I can do it. All right, so the radiator's in the car. I think I'm good to go. I need to drill a couple more holes. I got two of them holding it in. Uh, drill a few more and I'll be good, but I got to get the really the engine out of it uh, To be able to access those other two holes to be able to get them drilled or at least the water pump. So uh, I'm good for that. Everything seems to be mounted. All right, so I think I could actually Remove the engine get the radiator out the transmission out and start cleaning up everything and trying to seal it all back in Another project that I will be working on soon We'll be getting the trans tunnel built um, and then I need to get a drive shaft because it's going to be extremely close, but it might actually clear the tunnel. Uh, at first, I was thinking I was going to have to kind of pie cut the tunnel, raise it up, and get access for the drive shaft there. But it looks like it might clear. I might get lucky there. Uh, I was looking at headers. I ordered some headers for a truck, and it looks like one's going to end up like right here, and on the other side, it's going to end up going out of the inner fender so that's not gonna work but i'll have to see what it is at least it gives me something to look at and play with uh might have to end up building a whole set of headers but hopefully i can make something work with those um might have to modify a few things uh, i like trying to do everything with parts that you can buy that are designed around another vehicle because then you could always just order another set of headers or another radiator or whatever without trying to custom make one piece for a swap but sometimes that's what you have to do so those parts will be here this next week as well as the harmonic balancer for a corvette so once i can get that mounted in there uh it'll shorten it up to about here then i can start looking at what kind of fans i can run i'm gonna need to look at radiator hoses and again i'll need to adjust that bottom uh outlet for the radiator uh and see what i need to do so that's it for this episode guys if you would please like subscribe share whatever you do on whatever platform you're on and i appreciate it so much see you guys soon